Alright, so in this video, you want to see how to create Gmail ads with Google AdWords. Alright, so for that, what you require is you require one display network campaign. So if you don't have, you can just visit uh, my YouTube channel. Probably you will find the link somewhere in this video or in the description box right below this video. Or probably if you want to create one right now, you can simply go to campaign and you can just click on display network only. I'll be moving very fast in this because if you want to learn display network campaign only then you can just refer to the link which I'm talking about all right but for the demonstration purpose of this I'll just say demo gmail ads and I'll just go to drive action which I want as buy on your website or take an action on your website all right I don't want to just uh, build my awareness or influence consideration so I'll definitely go for this two option and then I'll scroll down and uh, if I look into this, then I'll have to select the targeting option that is my location where I want to um, target my advertisement on. So let's just select India as of now, all right? Then you can target the language as well. You can just uh, change the bid strategy, CPC, enhance CPC or CPM, whatever you want. So I'll go for a CPC right now and my budget I want is, let's say 500 rupees per day. I'll scroll down and you can just um, change your additional settings, delivery method, schedule, all those things. All right. So all these things are better explained in my another video, which critically explains exclusively for display campaigns. All right. So you can watch that video right now. So for the timing, we'll just skip this part and we'll click on save and continue. All right. Because we're going to focus mainly on Gmail ads. Right. So in this, I'll just create an ad group. So I'll say demo ad group for gmail ads and now enhance cpc bit all right so i'll keep it as let's say i want to keep it as uh, just 100 rupees and my landing page i'll keep my landing page as the one which i want people to go upon all right so let's suppose i want uh, all of my visitors to go to my website so i'll just copy this link and paste it over here and then i'll select interests and remarketing display keywords or different targeting method for my targeting option so for this we'll go for placement because we want gmail advertisements which comes under placement and which comes once we select this use a different targeting method so if we click on this we have a couple of options out of which we need to select placements and under placements now over here what we need to type is we need to type mail dot google.com so this basically would target all the inboxes inside gmail account all right so once we hit search now it will give a couple of options over here right we don't know all these things so what we need to search for is mail.google.com so here it is this one so we just select this part so now we will be targeting all this check this out 15 million to 100 million impressions but just understand if we just uh randomly select mail.google.com so that would be targeting all the inboxes on the internet which are related to gmail right and it will give me a random impression so this won't be targeted option so just to narrow down our targeting options what we do is we click on this narrow your targeting further and we just select a couple of keywords so we'll click on display keywords over here and as soon as we click on display keywords we have a couple of keywords but we'll just enter our own keyword. So let's suppose I want to target my advertisement. Um, my advertisement is related to, let's suppose, AdWords. All right, let's take an example. My advertisement is related to AdWords. So I'll say AdWords, Google AdWords, um, campaign in AdWords. I will say Gmail ads and a hell lot of other things all right so i'm just taking random example obviously you will have your keyword research done so you will have your keywords display keywords right so once we do this we'll just click on find related keywords so it will load up a couple of related keywords over here right so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and there you go so i have google ppc ads so i'll just select as much as i want which are relevant over here so for this demonstration purpose i'll just select a couple of them so this totally depends on your business your keyword research and your work your effort all right so i'm just selecting a couple of them just to have a good number of impressions over here 
so previously we had somewhere around 15 million so if this are my targeted keywords now i have a filtered audience of 300k up to 350k impressions all right so now this would be my targeted uh, placement so now once we are done we'll just click on save and continue and then on the next page we actually going to create our advertisement but trust me this is the part which we're going to skip now you may be thinking i'm going i'm crazy all right you might be thinking why am i not creating a creative because i'll have to create an ad then and then i'll be running my advertisement so the thing is this is a normal ad campaign so we are not here to create this display network campaign so we'll just skip this ad creation part because gmail advertisement is created from a different place so once we do that all right once we skip that ad creation part will be on this tab will be on this platform over where we will see this plus add button so we'll click on this and we'll go to this ad gallery all right so this is the ad gallery wherein we'll find gmail ads over here so we have a couple of things dynamic ads light box ads video ads general purpose ads so but for this demonstration purpose for this video we're going to focus on gmail ads and i'll click on this create gmail ads as soon as I'm done, now this totally depends. We have four different options. If I click on show more, I have five in total. All right, five in total, but this depends on your business. What do you want? Whether you want Gmail image template, whether you want Gmail single promotion template, multi product template, catalog template, or you want to have a custom HTML upload. All right, so for the demonstration purpose, let's just go with Gmail image template. I'll click on create over here. All right. Now, this is the part where we actually create our advertisement, which would go inside the Gmail advertisement. Now, to, to be honest, all right, uh, we just skip one important part. If I go to my Gmail, all right, if I go to my Gmail, let me show you how those uh, Gmail advertisements look like. And they are inside the promotions tab. All right. They never show up on primary, social or anywhere else. They come on promotions tab. So this are the advertisement. Can you check this out? This are a couple of advertisements, two advertisements which are known as Gmail advertisement. All right? So if I click on this, see now this is how it looks in the expanded form. But if I just go back, this is a collapsed form. Right? So we're going to create this kind of advertisement over here. So now let's just select. I'll just select ad name as um, uh, Gmail ad demo. All right, this is just for your reference. So now I just put up my uh, display URL. Let's keep this display URL only. All right, and I'll have my landing page as this. You can select HTTP or HTTPS, whatever there is for your landing page. Then over this. All right, so this is the part where actually your advertisement starts. All right, so I'll just scroll up so you can see the preview as well over here. So I'll select this image. Now you have a couple of options whether you want to select this image from your computer if you have already created one but make sure this image should fall within the range of 144 pixels to 144 pixels. You cannot have more than that. If you try to upload an image which is larger it will give you an error. So you will have to restrict yourself in creating an upload uh, logo image which is of the size 144 pixels by 144 pixels. Alright. So for the time being for this image I just uh, upload it from the stock image gallery. All right. I'll just go over into any category. Let's say um, Arts and entertainment and let's just select any of this image. All right, and it will just uh, Crop as 144 cross 144. So I just click on save So my logo would be uploaded, uploaded over here and now if I see check this out This is how it will look in collapsed ad format. So if I see over here see this image is 144 cross 144 all right so now uh, let's look into this if i go into advertiser so i'll just say um this is the advertiser now check this out it gives me an error all right so i intentionally did that to get this error now it says maximum length 15 characters for text reached all right so you can only have this particular thing as 15 characters long all right so i'll just say demo 15 cat all right now check this out even though it is less than 15 characters this error remains over here all right even if you remove this all right this error remains over here so you can treat this as a glitch inside google adwords so don't worry if you just reduce the number let's say demo 
routine character it will still remain unless until you don't refresh this page or probably if you just go back come back to this page this would stay on this page so don't worry you have already rectified your error but this is a kind of glitch you can say or a bug inside google adwords platform right so this is demo 15 character let's say that is our advertiser all right uh, now i say subject so i say this is a uh, subject box all right so this is where you create your subject box so <coughs> let's um, go further for description so i'll have description something like uh, this is where you put up your description for the gmail app all right and let's scroll up so this is how it will look right and then if i scroll down i have this image now what is this image this image is something which should come over here in the expanded ad format right so i just select this ad um, image and it could be 650 pixels cross 300 by up to 1000 all right so i select it from once again from stock image gallery i'll go for any of these options let's go for this one looks nice so i'll go for this and probably let's let's do it once again all right let's do it once again i'll click on stock image i'll click on this image and all right so it's by default uh, uploading over here without any size effect all right so if you click on this this image is included in all ad sizes just because this was fit now it didn't give me any cropping option this is the perfect image size right now once we are done all right once we are done what we do is next we click on save all right so we click on save and bingo we are done all right we are done now if you see check this out view full size display ad so Guys, this is how you create your Gmail ad. All right, now it is under review. Once it is reviewed, your campaign would go live. All right, Gmail ad campaign would go live. Now, if you see view full size display ad, if I click on this, all right, if I just click on this, then I can see the ad preview by visiting this link. If I just click on this, I can visit this link as well. So let's just wait for it to upload. Uh, so it will give me a preview. Yeah, see, check this out. So this is how my collapsed ad and expanded ad would look like. All right. So now one last thing which is remaining is, let's suppose you want to target all those people who are getting emails from yahoo.com. All right. So so and so.com. Then what you do is you just click on display network. And once you are there, you will have your ad group over here. Those display keywords, the placement which you have. So you'll just click on this pencil button, all right, and you'll edit this part. And where it says multiple placement, you'll just click on multiple placement and you'll add over here um, yahoo.com. So now what will happen is if you click on add, yahoo.com will be added over here. So you will be targeting the entire inbox, whoridme.com. So people who are getting emails from whoridme.com people who are getting emails from yahoo.com so this is how you can add multiple placements as well all right so on top of your keywords and inbox from gmail what you're targeting is people who are receiving emails from certain domains those people would also be seeing your advertisement they will also see your advertisement all right so that's it and hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of this kind of videos and that's it see you inside the next video till then take care